Welcome to the channel at Jaden Chase. And if you're new, remember to like, share, and subscribe. Now, Cliff Hughes has exposed statements made by the PM about criticism him and his administration are currently receiving on social media. Now, truth be told, in recent times, the administration had used said social media to secure a general election. Now, tell me if you agree, as the media turned on the Prime Minister, and his administration. We don't believe in tricking the people of the country. That's the declaration of Prime Minister Andrew Holness today in a warning to people behind social media accounts who he says are spreading fake news about his administration. The Prime Minister was speaking today at the launch of this year's Labour Day activities at his Devon Road office in St. Andrew. Those people who are making the fake TikTok videos and feeding it to unsuspecting people who don't understand it. Every morning somebody called me, sending me a TikTok video or a YouTube video. What about, what about that? And I say it's nonsense. And I give them the counterfact. We can do that too, you know. But that's not what we do. We don't believe in tricking the people of the country. No matter how much YouTube and TikTok negative video they're going to make, the facts are that this government that I lead has made the changes that is resulting in improving people's lives now and certainly will lead to a better Jamaica in the near future. The Prime Minister also responded to claims that workers are worse off following his government's review of the compensation review exercise. So I want to disabuse the public view that somehow, as a result of the compensation review, everybody's getting less. That is not true. And in fact, the people who were getting the lowest, they have gotten, in general, the better increases. And there is more money going into public sector wages than before. And, that, and those are two absolutely, you know, uncontestable facts. Prime Minister Andrew Holness. So I'm going to say to you tonight, Jamaica. Me know Andrew Holness as a dictator. You remember cuss out the YouTubers and you cuss out the TikTokers. Jamaica. Jamaica, he may cuss out YouTube and TikTok to tell life and him government. But I'm going to remind him about something tonight. I'm going to remind him about something tonight. Andrew Holness. It was you. It was you, Andrew Holness, that created an alternative called social media to reach the masses of the people from 2015. You invested in social media to reach the masses of the people. You have the... It hurt you, you Andrew, it hurt. Come, come in front of the class. Come in front of the class tonight. And may I do this to Miss Dulcimina where you insult. Miss Dulcimina, we come and talk about a sabotage you. YouTube and tell life for you. Open TikTok and YouTube and tell life for your government. Take now, Jamaica. I go and play. What you say? Fix him, Jamaica. You know what I mean? Fix him, don't you? Hello, good night. Hello. Hello. Yes, good night. Good night, Sanjay. How are you? Good night, Mr. Ratiba. No, wrong program you listen to, sir. Go on to the class tonight. Big, big, bigger class I keep tonight. Okay. See that YouTuber and TikTok are tell life for you. You know, say, we are tell lie. We are tell lie, don't it? Who are making the fake TikTok videos and feeding it to unsuspecting people who don't understand it. Every morning somebody called me, sending me a TikTok video or a YouTube video. What about what about that? And I say it's nonsense. And I give them the counterfact. We can do that too, you know. But that's not what we do. We don't believe in tricking the people of the country. No matter how much YouTube and TikTok negative video they're going to make. The facts are that this government that I lead has made the changes that is resulting in improving people's lives now and certainly will lead to a better Jamaica in the near future. The Prime Minister also responded to claims that workers are worse off following his government's review of the compensation review exercise. 
So I want to disabuse the public view that somehow, as a result of the compensation review, everybody's getting less. That is not true. And in fact, the people who are getting the less, they have gotten, in general, the better increases. And there is more money going into public sector wages than before. That, and those are two absolutely, you know, uncontestable facts. Prime Minister Andrew Holness. Andrew Holness. Andrew Holness. Open TikTok and YouTube at a life for you. Open YouTube at a life for you. Open TikTok and YouTube at a life for your government. Open TikTok and YouTube at a life for your government. Tell me who pan TikTok and YouTube I tell life for your government. You say, we are tell life for your government. And nonsense that you can't do it to. Do it and beat me, Andrew. Do it and beat me. So do it to me, you did not tell lie. So the woman I get the pampas. And they ensure them after five months of request. Andrew, who are tell life for your government? You a TikTok and YouTube as a tell life for your government. Andrew, where you did the last week? When the TikTokers never respond, when the little boy when need to do the blood transfusion and not even you are one of your members of the government. Could I come on TikTok and help raise little funds? See the little you treasure. Who a tell life for your government? One time you see the opposition, oh, and the opposition again. Because the opposition not really had nothing. Oh, so are the TikTokers and YouTubers that tell life for your government. Me want to know Jamaica. What lie are me alone the on YouTube every night? And make the people them know how wicked and cruel your government and not even just the government. How you and your fat, you know what? How you have been leading this government. You tell we say, we are tell. Now clearly, the administration believes that the critique and the criticism being shared on social media is being funded in some way, shape or form by the opposition, to which individuals who have openly voiced their discontent have continuously stated that nobody is funding their statements. This is just based on observation. Our recent voice notes circulate in social media the concerns are not just coming from people in opposition. It are followed from even the Prime Minister's constituency. One thing for sure though, the media is like a double-edged sword. So yes, while the administration could have used the media in recent times to get their point across at a faster pace to the entire nation, the Prime Minister being one of the most followed elected officials also means said naturally I'm going to be one of the most criticized elected officials. Truth be told, in the last much decades of politics, the current prime minister right now is one of the most recognized faces in politics right now. At this point, they can't show the prime minister picture to nobody. And then they know who he is. And I guess just as the statement goes, too much is given, much is expected. And that's something I'm to the prime minister himself. While on the campaign trail, or even while being elected, people had high hopes. Some would say even unrealistic expectations, even though certain things that were said on the campaign trail would that make people have certain type of expectations of the administration going into power. And people feel as if the administration did not make good on its promises. On top of that, People are frustrated with some of the individuals in the cabinet, some of the individuals in the party. There are even rumors that some people are in support of the prime minister and some people are in support of another individual. That's I say, the party itself is united. The prime minister has no say. I feel like the critique being shown to him and his administration in the personal. It will happen to any Prime Minister and any administration in power. Because when people are talking about issues, likeability, 
are not really one of the main concerns for everybody. Truth be told, there are some people who are so, so much of supporters that just because they respect the person to a certain level, they won't critique them any at all. But for most individuals, when we are talking about the issues, they are just critique. So the media is only being the media. But talk to me in the comment section. Do we agree with some that are saying that the media has turned against the administration in power? Even though the same media is also heavily criticizing the opposition. Some people are saying the opposition needs stronger leadership. Some people are saying the opposition is too silent. And if I want thing for sure, when the current government is in opposition, the mall is making them voices heard. Even when they do your research, yes, they are known for making their voices heard. So some people are saying, the opposition, no. Which is the Nationalist Party. Kind of silent. Talk to me in the comment section. Tell me what you think. If you're new to the channel, it's a subscribe icon, then the bell icon. And of course, put it on all. And this is how you know you'll be notified of all fresh content. As soon as fresh content is uploaded and made available for you right here on the platform, the like icon is also in close proximity to the share icon. Drop a like and bust a share. Tell a friend, tell a friend, tell them sister and them brother them for check out your channel. Good reasoning. Join the discussion, the comment section of 24-7. It never lock it. Just be respectful and mindful of the guidelines. But other than that, drop your thoughts, your comments, and yes, your opinions there. And we can continue the reasoning via the comment section. Now, a quick recap cliff Hughes has exposed statements made by the pm about certain type of criticism being shared on social media now until the reason again my sentiments for you and yours i'm gonna live love and prosper i'm gonna stay tuned